Hello everyone, you are watching brm24.com channel and today we will be taking apart Honor 200. First we need to remove the SIM tray. To do this we use a special tool, carefully insert it into the hole and push the tray out. Next we need to heat the back cover surface to about 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this we are using a heating pad, but you can also use a hair dryer. And after about 10 minutes we can start removing the back cover. To do this we use a thin plastic film. Gently insert it into the gap between the back cover and the mid frame then slide it along the edge to cut through the adhesive. As always, be extra careful around the camera area, so you don't damage the lenses. Also, don't push the film in too deep, since we don't know exactly what is under the cover. So, we carefully work our way around the edge, cutting the adhesive. Now we can gently lift and open the cover. As we can see, there is nothing mounted on the cover itself. Before unscrewing the screws, we can cover the camera lenses. For this, we use protective film. Please note, we are sticking the film not directly onto the lenses, but onto the rim around the cameras. Now let's move on to removing the screws. For this we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash trio. Carefully unscrew the screws. On this Honor series the screws are hard to take out since they are completely non-magnetic. That is why we will need tweezers to remove them safely. So, we carefully take out all the screws and arrange them in order so we don't mix them up during reassembly. Next, we remove the top cover using a non-metallic tool. Carefully lift it, flip it over. On the cover we can see contact pads and one stuck screw. We remove the screw and set it aside. Then, using a non-metallic tool, we disconnect the battery connectors. Now we can move to the bottom part and unscrew the remaining screws. Of course, it is better to place something between the battery contacts, so it doesn't reconnect by itself. Now let's unscrew the screws at the bottom using the same 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. These screws may differ and they are also not magnetic, so we need to carefully use tweezers to remove them and place them on a special pad. After that we gently try to remove the cover with a speaker. As always, you need to find the right spot to pry it up, and then the cover comes off easily. We then remove the speaker and the top cover with the contact pads. Next, we can disconnect the connectors in the bottom part. First, we disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector, the interboard cable connector, then two coaxial cable connectors. We also release the cables from their clamps on the sunboard and fold them back a little. Now we can carefully remove the subboard. Make sure nothing is in the way, gently lift it and take it out. On the subboard we have the charging port, the microphone under the shield and the card connector. In the display frame, we are left with a fingerprint sensor and the vibration motor. And here is our usual quick test of the microphone opening. The microphone hole is located in the display frame, has an L-shaped form 
and is protected with a gasket from the inside. If we insert something into the microphone hole, we can't damage the microphone itself because it is mounted on the subboard on the other side of the hole. Now let's move on to the motherboard. First we disconnect the front camera. Carefully pry it off and set it aside. It is also better to cover the front camera lens to protect it from dust. We remove the front camera. Next, we disconnect the rear cameras. Gently disconnect their connectors. Check if the cameras are glued. As we can see, the cameras are set in a small frame which can be removed easily. After that, we disconnect two connectors from the two coaxial cables. Then we disconnect the interboard cable connector and the display cable connector. Let's check for screws. And yes, there are screws we need to remove. For this, we use the same Philips hash trio screwdriver. Carefully unscrew the two screws. These screws are magnetic and clearly different from the previous ones. Set them aside. Now we can remove the motherboard. At the right spot, gently pry it up, lift and take it out. As for the microphone opening at the top, the situation is the same. There is a gasket on the inside and if we insert something into the hole, we can't damage the microphone because it is mounted on the other side of the hole on the motherboard. And finally, we move on to removing the battery. As usual, for Honor, there are brown pull tabs, which are hard to detach and often tear. Carefully fold them back. Of course, as always, read the instructions. The side tabs need to be folded back while the middle tab needs to be pulled upward. So we remove the battery. As we can see underneath it, there is a transparent layer that protects the interconnect cables. And with that, the teardown is complete. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos here or on our Telegram channel or on our website. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.